This is a YouTube video to show you how to install a totally new and clever wall kit which can be fitted entirely from the inside of the property. This model here is to represent a standard cavity wall. It's already been cored out with a 117mm core cutter. The core hole itself has been cored out of a very slight 3 degree angle from the inside of the building going downwards to the outside of the building. The first thing we need to do is measure the depth of our wall. In this case it's 30 centimetres, which is a measurement that we're going to need to remember for later. You'll notice there's a back drive shutter that comes inside the vent which will need to be removed before the installation. Now we need to remove the rest of the packaging. Once we remove the triangular push which comes inside, we need to put that to one side because we're going to need that push later on. We then undo the vent itself and remove the holders which are there to keep the vent safe during delivery. Now all the cardboard and packaging has been removed, you need to make note of this arrow and the arrow which is inside the vent on the grill. These arrows will need to be lined up to be fitted correctly. Once the arrows are in the up position, the back plate and the front grill will all line up and be level. The next part of the installation is to push the flange down inside the tube, ready for being pushed through our cavity wall. Once it's through the cavity wall and we pull on the string, there are three holes which are spring loaded. The springs will then come out and help secure the front grill to the front of the building without any need of going outside to screw it back. Now we've loaded the flange, that's now ready to go through the wall. The next job is to use a measurement from earlier, which is 30 centimetres, which is the depth of our wall. We need to line that up on the marks on the side. We find our 30, we line it up, we engage the vent, we look through the vent to make sure that both arrows are lined up, which means it will be fitted correctly once it's gone through the wall. We're now nearly ready to install our wall kit. We get our triangular cardboard push that we took out earlier. We insert the push. The vent's now ready to go through the wall. We get the wall kit through the first brick wall, then through the cavity, then out to the other side, making sure the arrows are lined up. It's now time for the grill and the springs to engage. So we gently hold the string, we put our hand in the vent, we push the cardboard push out until we hear the springs engage. Right, we now remove the cardboard push, hold onto the side of the back plate, and pull the cord till it engages and becomes tight. As I've just shown, it's nice and quick to adjust, no cutting of the tube needed. All we now need to do is now it's all tight and engaged, cut one part of the string, pull the string away, and discard the string. It's now time to fit the back drive shutter. The back drive shutter has to be fitted correctly. It needs to go in the direction of the airflow. So when the air flows through, the back drive shutter opens up. Now, if we used to fit this horizontally, the back drive shutter would be permanently open. So that's, that's wrong. We need to fit it vertically. So the air flows through and any backdraft that comes in allows the backdraft shutter to shut. I personally line up the groove at the top of the backdraft shutter with the arrow. I insert the backdraft shutter in to the maximum depth of 200 mil. Now the backdraft shutter is installed, we simply got to screw the back plate back, making sure the arrow stays up in the upright position. I'm going to screw this back in the pre-drilled holes that I'd done earlier. Now the kit's fully installed, it's now time to put a fan in. Um, this is just to show an example of what a fan would look like and how easy it goes into our kit. I'm now going to show you how the vents fitted in real time.